Some more. What? Please, sir. I want some more. More, is it? It is said that in the pale moonlight, or glimmering northern lights, the gigantic form of Buck can be seen racing his fellows, his great throat a bellow with the song of the pack. Oh, do not forget, never forget that you have promised to use this money to become an honest man. I don't recall. I'll try. Jean Valjean, you no longer belong to evil, but to good. I exchange these for your soul. And do you know why you're here? Because I'm an orphan, sir. And do you find it humorous? No, sir. Then get that grin off your face! Have we here? This is him, Fagin. My friend Oliver Twist. We are very glad to see you, Oliver. Where is Oliver? Where's the boy? Speak up or I'll strangle you. Will you speak? The coppers have got him. What's going on here? Mistreating the boys, you avaricious old fence. It's a wonder they don't murder you. I'd have done. A shot! The coppers! Quick, Oliver, out the bag! <laughs> Oliver, run! Quick, around the back! He's out of bullets! Break down the door! Mr. Brownlow, sir! Oliver! My boy! My boy! Oliver, your ordeal is over. You will never again return to the streets, I promise you. It remains only to tell you of your family. My family? Oh, sir, you know about them? of 1897 in the Canadian North, 
dogs were second in value only to gold itself. They were man's true partner in the great enterprise. Loyal, hardworking, and protective. Some dogs grew to legendary stature. Buck was such a dog. It was summer in the Santa Clara Valley, California. In this, as in each of his four years, Buck, a giant cross of German Shepherd and St. Bernard, lived in innocence and comfort. Get out of the way, you! When Judge Miller ain't here, I am the boss. A big dog like him will fetch a lot more than that where he's going. Buck was headed north, where gold had been discovered in the Klondike. Buck learned a lesson he never forgot. A dog could not win over a man with a club. Marsh! Good dogs! That Buck him pull like a horse. I teach him quick like anything. You're in charge of these dogs. You do what you think. Not that I care a whoop about you, but for the dog's sake. You can help them a mighty lot by breaking that sled out. To my oh, camp. My. They told us down below the trail was thawing, and the best thing was for us to lay over. They told us we couldn't make White River, but huh, here we are. They told you true. The bottom's likely to drop out any moment. Only fools with blind luck could have made it. Oh. Yeah. Move it Come on, yeah. You poor devil. You've been treated pretty bad, but it's all over now. The family, slack in all things, without order or discipline, succumbed to the trail. A yawning hole in the ice was all there was to be seen. During the last century, in France, ignorance condemned large numbers of people to lives of poverty. This man, Jean Valjean, was one of that army of homeless wanderers. He was on parole from prison. Originally sentenced to five years, four escape attempts extended his sentence to 19 years. His offense was the theft of a loaf of bread. Powder, comrades! 
Wait for them! Long live the revolution! Long live the republic! Fraternity! Equality! Justice! I love you. Oh, all is over.